Hi guys, Elle here. Okay, real quick, we are going to do a side-by-side -side comparison of two Robert M. Place decks. So there is currently, as far as I know, only one edition of the Tarot of the Sevenfold Mystery, that's this guy right here, available at this time. Like, if you order this deck, this is the one you're getting. And um, over the years, there have been several different editions of the Alchemical Tarot. So the one I have here that we are going to be looking at and comparing to Tarot of the Sevenfold Mystery is the Alchemical Tarot Renewed 4th Edition. Okay? And for this edition of the deck, it looks very, very different than like how it first started in that first edition. Um, they've changed some of the coloring, the the shading, um, even the entire just look of the card. Some of the old edition had those those big columns on the side, and it's just it's very different. Um, there's another video out there by Angelo Nasios. I will put a link below to it um, because I love that video and it helped me out so much when I was trying to decide what deck I was interested in and how similar the two decks were. Um, but you'll see in his video, he uses an older edition of this deck. Uh, and they actually do look very, very similar. Even the coloring and everything is, is more similar. Um, it looks much more different in this deck. What you will notice, however, when we compare the two, is that in the Minor Arcana, there are a bunch of cards that sort of have the same thing going on on both cards. Um, so that'll be interesting to look at. Let's see uh, what lines up here and, and what doesn't. I'll also put links below to my reviews of both of these decks. I just filmed a Terror of the Sevenfold Mystery review, uh, and I have, from a few months ago, uh, a review of the Alchemical Tarot up also. All right, so those are the boxes. Here are the backs of the cards. Hang on, I'm going to zoom in a little bit more for you guys. Not bad. We got zoomed in pretty close. Okay, so again, this is the Alchemical Tarot, fourth edition renewed. This is the Tarot of the Sevenfold Mystery. These are the backs. Um, they're both laid out kind of similar. Obviously, the uh, Tarot of the Sevenfold Mystery has a green border and the Alchemical more of a grayish kind of a blue border. Um, but they both have a colored border on the outside and another border on the inside side that you'll see on the cards also. <laughs> Can see my different edgings. I went green for Sevenfold Mystery and gold for uh, the Alchemical Tarot. All right guys, here are your two Fool cards. Here are your two Magician cards. Of course, Tarot of the Sevenfold Mystery doesn't have um, traditional titles. <laughs> These are both supposed to be Hermes, however. How great is that? Your two High Priestesses. These are very different looking from each other. If you want to see longer... Um, or take a longer look at any of these, feel free to pause it or go to the, the full review video. Here's your Empresses and your Emperors. There's something so cool about the com color combination in the this Emperor. And I just love how old everything looks in the Alchemical Tarot. You know, for this, the fourth edition renewed, they they designed this, they, they did it with these like transparent covers over an antique kind of a paper, and it just created such a cool effect. Check out that other comparison video, actually, if you want to see like an older, I don't remember if it was a first edition or just an older edition of the Alchemical Tarot, but it looks so, so different. Uh, there are actually two versions of this Lover's card. I'm sorry, I only have this one right now. And the other one, they're uh, doing it. Doing it and doing it and doing it well. <laughs> Here's your chariots. Two interesting um, sort of angles on the card for, the, for these chariots. Here are your justice cards. I love the whole little story here in the in the sevenfold mystery how it's the uh, the virtue here is justice and she's handing her sword to the knight her her champion to do her bidding you could say and that's one of the theories of course of what's going on in the oldest known justice card basically the Visconti Sforza justice card with the uh, the knight in the background there or the the rider on horseback anyway. And then the beautiful fiery crown with an eye on it on the Justice and the Alchemical Tarot. I love both of these cards. Here she's weighing fire against water, and it's, um, what's the process here? Disposition, right? So good. And here are your hermits. The hermit in this Tarot of the Sevenfold Mystery has no title at all. 
Uh, and his lamp is a seven-pointed star. Here's your two wheels of fortune. <laughs> Both of these decks are just gorgeous in their own way, aren't they? These two look rather similar, but are still different and, and quite unique, I think. Here's your two hanged mans. And your two death cards. Very different. The card is called Morta in the Sevenfold Mystery here. And your two temperance cards. Both of these cards are like some of my favorites in both decks. Oh, mm, so good. And your devil cards. I love the like literal androgyny or bisexuality of uh, the alchemical tarot. And a classic Satan, unreason, will, and appetite. Here are your tower cards. Of course, the tower is the Athenor and the alchemical tarot, but you have more of a classic tower in the sevenfold mystery. And your two star cards. Oh, they're both just beautiful. And, and your two moon cards. Also, just so you guys know, in the Terror of the Sevenfold Mystery, the border that surrounds the, the image here uh, changes. If it's one color for the majors, and it's a different color for each suit in the minors, you'll see when we get there. And for the Alchemical Terror, they all have that bluish-gray border for every single card in the deck. Here's your two sun cards, Apollo in the Sevenfold Mystery. And we reach the Citrina, so the yellowing stage in the Alchemical Tarot. And your judgment cards, definitely a favorite in the Alchemical Tarot. And you see the, the resurrection stage of the Alchemical Process. And over here you have Gabriel, that's what the card is called, the Angel of Judgment. And here are your two world cards, Prudence in the Alchemical Tarot, the culmination of your virtuous life, right? And the culmination of the great work in the Alchemical Process. All right, on into the minors. So here is where you will start to see much greater similarities between the two decks. Um, more so in some cards than others. Obviously, these two look very different. You have a little fiery salamander down there. And here's our first similar card. Uh, although there is just one hand coming out of the smoke here, sort of lighting the other one. Here you have two hands coming together, joining their fire. And two images of a boat, or in this case, a person on a boat with the three wands around it. It's a, it's a different viewpoint, though, so it, it really... Um, but again, they're very similar. The work for the Minor Arcana for the Terror of the Sevenfold Mystery was based on the work he did for the Alchemical Tarot. So some of them are re-envisioned, reinterpreted. Again, you see the same similar sort of thing. It's not coming out of the fingertips here, but there's a hand right in front. That's your Five of Wands. This one's just such a different look to it that even though it's kind of a similar thing going on, over here he's standing in the clouds. Um, of course, you still have all your alchemical symbolism, literal alchemical symbols on the card here. Um, and you have the number and Roman numerals for all the minor arcana. And then in the Sevenfold Mystery, you don't have names, you don't have numbers. You just get to know it. <laughs> Here is your Seven of Wands. You have a confrontation with uh, two wolves, or a wolf and a dog over there on the alchemical, and a confrontation between two knights from two opposing teams, or sides, or families, or whatever. Again, look how similar. This one has a woman holding an axe, and has a man holding an axe, and chopping away here. Here on your Nine of Staffs, or Nine of wands. They're actually staffs in both of these decks, sorry, <laughs> technically. Uh, you have a wolf being sort of sacrificed and giving, the story goes, giving life to the king or restoring life, kind of a sacrificial sort of thing. Uh, and the same thing with the black crow. And then they both become beautiful phoenixes and the ten of staffs. Uh, it's also called the, the firebird, right? And in the alchemy, it's, um, the phoenix is even a symbol of the philosopher's stone. It's a beautiful metaphor for being um, reborn from the, the prima materia during the great work kind of thing. 
Uh, and I love that there are so many alchemical references, clearly because there's similar images in the Chair of the Sevenfold Mystery, uh, because, well, you know, what's talked about in this, this deck, the Chair of the Sevenfold Mystery, is all this Neoplatonic ideas and all the ideas that come from the, the 15th century and the Renaissance and all the ideas that are infused and a part of uh, old tarot and, and where tarot comes from. Uh, and I think alchemy and alchemical ideas are, are definitely a big part of that. Uh, so here's your two ladies of staffs. Much more zoomed in, I feel like, for the courts and the Terror of the Sevenfold Mystery, a little bit more personal. <laughs> I love the crazy garb on this night, though. <laughs> and your queen of staffs. And your king of staffs. All the kings in the alchemical tarot are animals associated with, with that suit or the element of that particular suit. So you have a dragon for the king of staffs. All right, on to our two aces of cups. Very different. See what I mean about the coloring and the, the look being so, so different? Like the alchemical tarot now looks so much more detailed. The lines are thinner on everything. Less blocky, a little bit more soft. And not that there's anything wrong with that look in the Sevenfold Mystery, but it, it is very, very different looking. Here's your Three of Cups. Similar, similar. Again, more zoomed in on the Terror of the Sevenfold. Here is one that always does kind of jump out at me. I'm like, which deck am I looking at again? Because these two are incredibly, incredibly similar. And these guys are actually really, really similar too, but the coloring just makes them look very different. Same idea happening, watering the growth in the cups here. And here is your two seven of cups, actually seven of vessels. These are vessels in the alchemical tarot, um, which shows seven different types of vessels here, and each one serving a different purpose for use in alchemy. And then over here, uh, they're they're not all differently shaped. They just have a different symbol, so they're, um, which is really does uh, correlate well with the Rider Waite Smith. Um, what's in each cup on the Rider Waite Smith card? Here for both the Eight of Cups or Eight of Vessels, they are working. They're both creating. This one's, you know, making the, the clay cups. And uh, him over here, he's painting on the all the cups behind him or the, uh, was that, seven planets, the seven planetary symbols. And then this one down here is actually a symbol of uh, spirit entering matter. Isn't that beautiful? Enlivening your work. Again, another super, super similar. I, the coloring's different, but it's like that elephant one. It just reminds me so much of the other one. It's the same perspective, the same thing going on. It's like that uh, that goat antelope kind of thing on, on top of a hill, on top of the cups. It's all about um, being on, on steady ground and sure of yourself and, and confident. And it really does evoke that. I, I like that. I like the image. So if that kind of stuff does bother you seeing the same thing, then both of these decks might not be for you. <laughs> but I love them. And the Ten of Cups both look very, very different from each other. You have an, an alchemical still sort of here in the alchemical tarot. All right, here is our Ladies of Vessels or Lady of Cups. Oh, that color in that card. Mm. And your, oops, I messed them up. And there are your two knights, the knight of cups, the knight of vessels. And your zoomed in queen, your zoomed out queen. I love how she's like a mermaid. And your king's always going to be very, very different because it's a whale in the alchemical tarot. So good. <laughs> you actually see a whale down at the bottom there too. Do you see that in the other king card? Wait, let's see. Oh yeah, you totally do. Look at that. It's actually a dragon. This is the king from before. And in the alchemical tarot, it, the whole image is a dragon. And then here on his shield or crest or whatever, there's a, a dragon. All right, your two aces of swords. 
Here's another super similar one. Two cross swords, two hands, and two owls. Although in the alchemical, his wings are spread. I love that owl. Isn't that adorable? So pretty. Very similar. Uh, three of swords. And it's a similar thing going on, but it's so much more zoomed in on the sevenfold that these don't jump out at me as being <laughs> super the same. Uh, same for the same reason, you know, for the same reason here. The the five of swords doesn't doesn't do that. Although it is the same thing happening. Yeah, fixing things, fixing yourself. This is another one that always jumps out at me when I'm like, wait, what deck am I looking at? <laughs> it's the six of swords. Going with the flow and letting spirit guide you. So there is no, as far as I know, there's no book to sort of go along with. <laughs> They're very different, but the same thing. Um, book to go along with the Terror of the Sevenfold Mystery. So if you are looking for a little bit more depth than the little white book offers, um, you can totally grab the, the book for the Alchemical Tarot, which has a good paragraph written about each card. Um, pages for the majors, but for the minors, because they're so similar, you can totally use that that book. What's it called again? Um, Al Alchemy and the Tarot by Robert M. Place, um, where he talks specifically about the Alchemical Tarot images, but I mean, they're, they're so, so similar in every single case. You'll be able to get something out of it. Um, dangling swords and both the same sort of thing. Um, overcoming fear and doubt and navigating your way through. And then a dead person in the Ten of Swords. What a bloody mess. <laughs> All right, here are our Ladies of Swords. They're both playing a little harp-like thing. A lute? Is that called a lute? Whatever it is. <laughs> and two knights doing battle with a dragon. And your queens. I love how powerful that queen is. In both cards, actually. She's pretty badass. And your king here. Oh, yeah, look at that. I never noticed that the same animal is on the shield here. That's great. You have um, an eagle as the, the king of swords in the alchemical tarot. And an eagle on the shield crest thing of the uh, king of swords in the other deck. Okay, these aces look very different from each other, which is kind of cool. Similar, but very different. You have the lion over here eating the head of the eagle, but they're connected, and this is just a regular snake eating its own tail in Ouroboros. Very similar. The Sevenfold Mystery looks much more Rider Waite Smith church like idea. The, his three of coins I always thought was very interesting. He's managed to include this idea of creativity. Uh, with a person drawing, not just writing, they're drawing something, they're being creative, and the, the stability of, of everything going on around them, especially with, I always like that, how the salt, the image for salt, this is mercury, sulfur, and salt, um, above the, the pillar here, that strength, that, that earth, that stability. And two dudes burying four coins. Same thing happening in both. They actually look very similar. Very, very similar. Um, again, just more zoomed in. It's the same idea in both decks, in both cards here again. Just more zoomed in on the Terror of the Sevenfold Mystery. And you have the same, uh, the same sort of thing kind of going on here. They're both represented by children, um, giving, sharing. Just one little boy in the Sevenfold. Uh, I love the, the stacked seven coins on both of these. So, so beautiful. They look very different, though. Again, this is the same thing, but they look so different. It almost never even occurs to me that they are actually doing the same thing. They're, they're pounding out coins, or they're putting the, the image, like stamping the image onto a blank round coin. You can see it right there. Very cool. And the money tree in both of our nines of coins. And the money face. <laughs> That's what I'm calling it, the money face. I like how it's a woman in the sevenfold and a man in the alchemical. That's neat. Um, but yeah, I think he's just sort of getting at that this this person has money on the mind. <laughs> 
and uh, physical gain and desires and you know, all, all those sorts of things. A physical focus, you could say. Okay, here are our two ladies of coins. The coloring is very similar. Look at that, that burgundy and that green. Here's our two knights of coins. Our two queens. She is very naked here with her cornucopia and have very fruitful all around over here. They look very different from each other. And, oh my goodness, this king even looks like a lion with his mane. <laughs> and then you have a lion down here below him also on his crusty thing. And that about does it, guys. That is the last card. Again, that was the tarot of the Sevenfold Mystery over here. And the Alchemical Tarot, 4th edition, renewed over here. And both these decks are by Robert M. Place, and they are both freaking beautiful and wonderful decks. I will put a link down below to Robert M. Place's website where you can order both these decks. Here's their boxes one more time. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I will see you real soon. Bye.